Hey, this is Trey. You're watching Animation Station right now, and we're back again with another episode of Hunter x Hunter 2011 episode 99 review right here, right now. Uh, this episode, it was good. It was really good. I actually enjoyed this one a lot. I actually thought they was going to BS us with some more kitty cat battles, you know, going just plowing away through the competition like he did with that last battle before uh, episode 98 ended. But this one was really good and we actually learned a lot of new stuff about uh, the Hunter Association and how they get down and stuff like that. This episode can be broken up into several parts because they actually covered a lot of stuff this episode. We got Gone over here fighting the uh, Bat and Owl Chimera Ant Tag Team. We got Kalua do doing the stealth mode. He's on a stealth mission right now uh, telling people about what's going on in the city and we have the uh, Royal Guard and the king and what they're actually up to and where they're at right now and we got our other members of the hunter association that's actually in the uh, east gorto area and what they're up to and what they're doing at the time picking up right where we left off last time going is actually being attacked by the owl and bat chimera ants and uh they're actually doing really good against them they're using sound as a weapon and and at first going can't handle it. he actually doesn't know what to do or how to combat against both of them at the same time and then the uh, the bat, I mean, the owl is just throwing these feathers at Gone and sticking them, but they're not really hurting them. I'm just thinking in my head, thank God these arrows, are, I mean, these feathers are not poison. Because if they were poison, Gone would be gone. Because uh, a poison attack would do Gone in. He's not Kalua, He's not resisting the poison. But luckily, that's not the case. Uh, Gone is very unpredictable. As soon as you think you know what he's about to do, you don't know. Surprise the heck out of me. He does like a, a death scream in the bat's ear when she tries to attack and stuff like that. <laughs> throws off, throws the whole game off. And then the owl dude transforming into gorilla mode. I'm like, hey, what's going on here, man? These ants could do whatever they want to. What's next? Dragon mode? I mean, we got multiple transformations and advanced combat tactics. These guys are on a different level. They were just born. This Chimera Ant art didn't start that long ago. They've only been alive for a couple months. Give them a couple years, and they're going to be too daily to mess with. Nip this in the bud right here. Uh, the teamwork between the owl and bat is too good. Actually, so good that it actually comes back, comes back to bite him in the ass. Gone actually uses his brain power. I really like that. There was some development in there, and Gone was actually thinking. And he was, uh, at the end of the day, he ended up feeding the bat and the, uh, the owl. And the way he defeats the owl is really clever because he knocks him away from the targeted area so you know the center of east gorto is you know this way and he doesn't want him warning his fellow chimera and friends so he knocks him into the air the opposite direction so very nice for going love the battle nice and then we switch over to my favorite character kalua and he's actually going around doing his mission that he talked about he's going to do uh being a renegade going against chimera and Terrell's plan and uh warning the people of the threat he looks like he's capturing the soldiers and telling people, hey, man, President Diego's a fake. He ain't, he ain't real. Get the hell out of here while you still can. Kalua is just built, built to be an assassin. Uh, that time when he felt the king, he felt the king's presence. I'm talking about this guy. He was miles away. And he said he looked down that road and he said, I'm not going that way. Yeah, very smart. Yes, even though Alumi's Nin Pin is still not in Kalua, he still knows a thing or two about self-preservation and going that way with the go against life. <laughs> yes, the king is, speaking of the king, he's up there. I think it's the king. It may not even be the king, but it looks like it's the king. It has to be. He's on top of a mountain and he is just sitting there, Indian style, Buddha, Buddha style, meditating. This guy, I don't know what he's thinking about, but trust me, it ain't good. But despite the danger, Kalua continues on. And the Royal Guard, they're aware of this. Nefropito picks up on this right away. And she's actually deciding, you know, man, man maybe I should go out there and put a stop to this. But then uh, I think his name is uh, Shia Poof. Shia Puff. The guy with the uh, antennas and the violin. And, you know, he's playing it. The flowers popping out. Rose petals coming down and all that stuff. A real uh, pretty boy. And, uh... <laughs> 
He's, the stuff he's talking about doesn't match out what's going on around him. He's talking about some pretty sadistic stuff. And we got the rose petals falling. Really? Yeah, these chimera ants, not an ounce of humanity left in their bones. Enter the Lion King and his uh, sideways planning skills. Uh, this guy, everybody's onto him. You're not slick. You're not clever. Just fall in line and obey the orders, man. Uh, but it's too late now. The uh, Royals guard are already talking about stabbing him in the back. <laughs> doing it before he has a chance to even think about doing it to them. Looking at the rest of the hunting association. Uh, Kuwabara, I mean uh, Knuckle. Eh? But uh, Kuwabara can't take it anymore. <laughs> Say it again. Knuckle can't take it no more. And with his inability still affecting Cheetah, he actually senses Cheetah. He's like, okay, he got away. Someone was supposed to stop him, but no one stopped him, man. I told him where he at. They didn't stop him. What the hell's going on? I'm going to go put a stop to this. And if you try to stop me, I'm going to hurt you too. So uh, Knuckle says that. And Shu actually joins him. He actually feels where he's coming from. He said he can't sit idly by. And Morel is having the same problem. He is sick of the Hunter Association. Sitting on their ass. Waiting for things to pan out. Think 5 million death count is a count too high. It's uh, too much casualty. And I agree with him. That's way too high. And we learn a little bit more about the Hunter Association. Um, these guys, uh, they're held back by red tape and political bullshit. Yes, these fools are placing the world, placing the whole world at stake, just so they could, just so someone could win an election. Ridiculous. And at the end of the episode, we see that the whole city has been placed on lockdown due to Kahlua's actions. So Nefra Pita is going to be sending her then controlled soldiers door to door performing a personal selection process. Yippee. <laughs> that's, that's just great. And that's basically the end of the episode. But did you people see the new outro? It has all the characters and the, well, the main characters in the Chimera and Arc on display. And it also shows us someone new that we've never seen before. I wonder who this guy is. He seems pretty important. Looking at the outro, he uh, he's playing a game with the king in the outro, and he seems important, like a very important person. I don't know who he is. I don't I don't read the manga, just the anime. But we're gonna be seeing this guy soon, and I'm curious to see what he's all about. All right, but as I said before, I really enjoyed the episode, people. Very good. Everything I said about um, you know. I hope they don't drag this out. If they have episodes like this, it's okay. Hunter Hunter is back. Back in the new fall season. Be prepared. If you like what you heard, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And hit the thumbs up too. Just for being a Hunter x Hunter fan. Alright, see y'all later.